What is going on YouTube? I am back with another NBA 2K15 My GM video So today is gonna be a trade episode A trade will be made during the course of this video As well as me going over the roster and the current situation here in Milwaukee So without further ado, let's get into this video Alright, so uh, first things first As you guys saw in the last video Giannis Antetokounmpo just wasn't playing up to par for us and kind of been a reoccurring thing for us. Giannis just hasn't been pulling his load and I feel like he's definitely either he's got to stay or he has to go. I mean, he I don't think he has too much of a future on this team if he continues playing like the way he has been. And if you guys missed episode 11, make sure you guys click the annotation on the bottom left corner of the screen to go check out that video. It was a nail biter game. It was absolutely insane. But Taking a look at all the trade offers for Giannis, I mean, not nothing too spectacular. Uh, I mean, Giannis's trade value isn't too high as of yet. So I think, according to the, I was reading the comments of the last video, and you guys said that I should keep Giannis because he's gonna end up developing into a star or at least a very good player in the future. So for right now, Giannis Antetokounmpo will still be a Milwaukee Bucks and Milwaukee Buck, excuse me, and hopefully, hopefully, he can grow and get a. And have a bright future with this team so with that being said Giannis is gonna stay here for now now another player that I've always wanted to, like I was just eager to trade was Chris Middleton now Middleton plays about two minutes every single game and gets literally no playing time so Chris Middleton will be the player that we will be, we will be trading tonight and in return I need a player a big man a big man who can rebound the ball not really a big man who can score the ball, but a big man who can rebound the ball. And that player is Bismack Biombo. So I was originally going for Thomas Robinson, but I could not get a trade to go through. So I decided my second best option was Bismack Biombo. And uh, taking a look at the trade right here, I'm going to go ahead and remove John Henson and Brian Roberts. And right here, this is the trade. Chris Middleton in return for Bismack Biombo, the center from Congo. And that just rhymed unintentionally, but I think this is a good trade. I mean, Chris Middleton does not get any playing time on this team. And we are really weak at that big man position, both power forward and center, considering we don't have Larry Sanders. Now, right here, take a look at the contract extensions. Uh, Brandon Knight and uh, Evan Turner's contract are both up at the end of the season. And as you can see, Brandon Knight is still undecided. I hope Brandon Knight decides to stay with this team because he is an asset that we definitely need. So I need you guys to comment in the comment section down below. Should I play the game against the Toronto Raptors or the game against the Washington Wizards? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will be sure to play against that team in the very next episode. And we're going to go ahead and simulate the Knicks game because, uh, you know, Carmelo Anthony is actually injured and there's no real reason for me to go ahead and play that game. And you guys voted for the Miami Heat over the New York Knicks. So that's not really a big deal. Now, taking a look at the GM upgrades this year, I end up getting one of the GM, my GM cutscenes, and asking it's asking me to upgrade one of my upgrades, and I don't really know what to choose. I ended up choosing uh, opposing GM trust, which makes it so the GMs don't like decline your trades as much. I guess I'm not really sure, but I think this is a great new feature here in my GM, and I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the opposing GM trust. So yeah, as I said before, make sure you guys vote in the comment section down below if I should play against the Raptors or the Wizards. We do end up winning our game against the carmelo list <laughs> New York Knicks, giving us a record of, I believe, 7-6 and six on the season, so not bad at all. So, like, the Bucks have been playing very well this season, and, you know, Jabari Parker has been leading them in scoring, as you guys know, and... I mean, Jabari Parker has just been playing great for us. That's all I can really say. Now, taking a look at the team training right here, we got we we need to be that team that can start the fast break on pretty much any missed any missed shot on the uh, deep on the other team's side of the ball. Like, if we can run the fast break and have that aspect of our game where we're a very fast team, a team that can't be stopped in the open court, I feel like we'll be very unstoppable. Now, I did end up playing this game against the Brooklyn Nets like fully all four quarters, and just my my. Uh, Game capture software crashed on me and I just got a black screen for the entire 50 minute video that I was going to edit up and add to this video but that video ended up corrupting so there will be no gameplay in this video. Uh, I apologize but there will be a game against either the Raptors 
or the Wizards in the next game. And we still don't have Larry Sanders out with a dislocated elbow. We will have him back in uh, the upcoming, hopefully in the upcoming game against either the Wizards or the Raptors. But yeah, make sure you guys vote down below. Wizards or Raptors. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see episode 13 tomorrow, lucky number 13. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's hit 50 likes if you guys want to see episode 13 tomorrow.